Hey, Cosby Tim, what's going on? We all got our shirts off. Ah, Mitchell, hello. I, I'm sorry I'm missing the barbecue. How's it going, buddy? How are things going up here? The excavation of the ship is going well, Mitchell, but we've still only barely scratched the surface. Have you found any clues as to why this alien attacked us? Nothing solid yet, Mitchell, but I did find a device that I think might be able to help us answer some questions. Maybe. But I'll tell you more about that later. Right now, I need to get back to work on the ship. I think we may have found technology capable of advanced medical, biological, cell tissue regeneration. Beep, bop, bloop, bop, bleep, bleep, bleep. He was a Cosby fan at heart, it's clear. He searched and found a Cosby hair. He spent ten long years and built a cloning machine. And now he's accomplished his wonderful dream to make a house of Cosby's. It's a house of Cosby. Today's a special day, Bathtub Cosby. You know why? Frequency Cosby just woke up from his three-month coma. Yeah, he went against the grain. We're in the same exact room as the reunition of Cosby Team Triosby, you see. I'm flapping my wings with shame! How could we have let this happen? Wait. We feel like it's our fault this all happened. We weren't fast enough. We weren't strong enough. No, stop. You guys don't understand. This is the best thing that's ever happened to me. Being crushed, falling into this coma, I discovered who I really am. My true calling. Once these wounds heal and I tear off these bandages, I'll set off to accomplish my true destiny. Comedy jokes! I'm going to be a comedian. You hear that? It's time for some comedy bathtub, Cosby. Is that okay with you? Can you accept that? Ooh, that is a different direction. Is it too soon for me to suggest some 9-11 jokes? Not at all, Bathtub Cosby. You have a great sense of humor. This is an intergalactic transmission receptor, fresh off the spaceship. Apparently it is able to receive TV transmissions from even the most distant planets throughout all of space. I know it's a shot in the dark, but maybe if we watch some of these channels, Mitchell, we might be able to learn more about why those aliens attacked the compound. Well shit, let's take a look at that. Okay, Paul. Yes! To win the whole round. I would like to go to the bonus round. All you need to do is tell us what the picture we're about to show you is. Yes, I know. Okay. Here it is. Take your time. What is it? The sun! No, it is not the sun. The moon! A piece of bread! Game over! <laughs> Hey, Toro! What is it, Moro? How many Kalapajibidian Kumavads does it take to open a Krajibidian cupboard? I'm not sure, Moro. How many? I'm serious, Toro. I don't know the answer! Moro, that's a hilarious joke. New <laughs> 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 Scene 11, the 10 o'clock report with Vince Temecular. Good evening. Coming up tonight. Deadly meteors descend upon Calgon 7. A giant asshole of ore attacks Gamma Central, and a soft drink that can turn you into a Largazoid? But first, here's Joyce with the weather. On Saturday, a rift in time and space will tear through nine parsecs of the Vegan Quadrant, annihilating all sentient life forms. So be sure to wear a raincoat, or you will drown in the blood of your children. Who will I'm proud to be from planet Sacroflax, home of freedom, land of liberty. And every day I salute the Zacoflaxian flag, and I pray to a god named Jibberty Flippity. Great, now I'm lost, and I have no idea where to go. How about inside of my greasy asshole with all your buddies? Well, that was informative, but not in the way I was hoping. Um, this uh, intergalactic television TV receiver has opened more questions than answers. Yeah, fuck that thing. I apologize for that waste of time, Mitchell. Uh, yeah, you know what? Let's not ever hook this thing up again. Next time on the House of Cosby's. So he had the nerve to come over here talking to me, telling me that. Oh! Pookie, what is it? What's wrong, oh, Pookie? Mitchell, baby, out! I think it's time. Oh, I'm going into labor. Holy shit, this is it. This is the one. He was a Cosby fan.